In Open Roads Designer Connect Edition, there has been a lot of development in the area of what we used to refer to strictly as workspaces. Now we have terms like workspace, work set, organizational levels, a lot of different changes have been made and there are training courses available on the Learn Server regarding workspace organization. So this is just a quick summary of what we are delivering and how you can incorporate your particular environment. What we're delivering is essentially three different levels. Under the configuration, you will see the full path here under program data. If you install without changing any defaults, this will be what is written to the hard drive. Under configuration is typically where you would be working, and you're going to have an organizational level, and, and under the organizational level, you would have your main standards. This might be a good place, for example, for a Department of Transportation or a major uh, agency to be able to provide their main standards. These are organization-wide standards that encompass all projects, typically. Then you have the workspace level. The workspace level are areas that where you can go into a specific discipline. So perhaps you have a workspace that is dedicated to the survey group or a right-of-way group or a roadway design group. And so this is the workspace level. And then under the particular workspace level, under training and examples, we have a work set defined in this example for integrated highway life cycle. And under the standards, we have a unique template library specific to that job. And so you can think of work sets as job specific standards that would supplement the primary workspace and or organizational standards. So you might actually be delivering a, for example, template library to your roadway design group, but then that roadway design group may have a specific template library needed for a specific job that they could store underneath their work sets. And so that's kind of how we've developed our delivered folder structure. So you have an organizational level that encompasses the standards company or agency wide. Then you have a workspace level that gets into more specifics of a particular department's discipline. And then under the workspaces, you can then have work sets that are specific to a particular job. And so you have the three different levels. And one of the things that we could envision is your, your DOTs, your Departments of Transportation, your major tollway authorities, those types of things would probably have a configuration set at the organizational level. And then as a consultant, you may take what's done in the organizational level and supplement that under your workspaces. For example, if you're consultant XYZ and you're working for five different departments of transportation, you may have a workspace defined in here set for each of those particular departments of transportation where you're adding to each of those agencies standards some of your own specifics like for example would be a title block. And then underneath the specific workspaces you may have some work set specific to a particular example project. So that is kind of an explanation of how this folder structure is broken down. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at how we can set up an organization folder structure for an agency, how we can then set up a workspace folder structure, like, for example, a consultant, and then how we can set up a work set level for a specific job. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.